Hey guys, Elite Clinical Research Group here, and today we're going to be talking about how you can land a clinical research internship. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how you can land a clinical research internship. And now they're not very easy to come by, but we're going to talk about a few strategies you can use to go ahead and make sure that you have something planned for the summer, winter, or, or spring, or whenever you plan on taking your internship. We're gonna talk about a few traditional strategies and then a few a little unconventional strategies, but still work just as well, if not better than the traditional strategies. The first strategy is one, to know what you're looking for. How can you find it if you have no idea what you're looking for? So are you looking for bench clinical research where you're gonna be working in a lab pipetting samples? Or are you looking for more corporate clinical research where you're gonna be helping manage the clinical trials and getting them to market for the sponsor, getting the drugs to market for the sponsor. Once you know what exactly you're looking for, then you can begin your search and only after you know what you're looking for. So the most common place that people search for things nowadays in the age of the internet is Google. Google's a great place to search and you, who knows what you might find. You'll see a bunch of universities offering internships you'll see a bunch of CROs potentially offering internships you'll see a bunch of pharma companies offering internships and you don't you just have to google and see what you find but that's a more generic approach everybody's gonna be applying to those because a lot of people want to get into clinical research those are gonna have a lot of competition so you need some more places to look where else can you look to find some internships that that are both not as highly sought after but still very good the second place I would look is job boards. Indeed.com is very good. And I did a tutorial on how to find jobs on Indeed.com earlier. So you guys should check that out if you haven't already. I'll link that in the description and probably put a card here as well. Second, you can use Monster. Monster's also good. I prefer Indeed as a job board. And there's also Glassdoor, which can also be very good. But those, once again, everyone's probably gonna be looking there. Where else can you look to get an edge on everywhere else. This strategy is gonna require a lot more work than just going to a job board, but I think this is the best, one of the best strategies you can employ is to go to every CRO's website every day and look and see what internships are available and apply to those through the website. Cause they will post them onto their website and their careers page. And that's a good place to look first. Not to say that Indeed or Monster or any of the other places aren't good, but those are also a good place. And sometimes they don't want to spend the money to post the jobs to jobs or internships to the job boards. So they just post them on their website and they'll get a number of application, applications that way. So that's also a good place to look. The fourth thing you can do is if you're a college student or university student and you are majoring in a science, or even if you're not majoring in a science, you can use this trick too is to go to the career guidance office. Your college should have a career guidance office and tell them you're interested in clinical research. Chances are you're not the first student who's asked that question and they should know about where to find internships or help you find internships to get into clinical research. So go there, make a friend or two, ask them about clinical research uh, internships and you can use that as a starting point as well. Actually, really you should be doing all of these there's no shortage of ways to do it. You just really want to use all these to their advantage. And people that do all of them, the job boards, go to the websites and go to the career office, will have a better shot because you'll be casting a wider net. But this way, if you go to your career office, you'll have someone helping you as well to find an internship. So they have a lot of, they talk with a lot of companies and go back and forth about internship and opportunities. So that's a good place very underutilized place to look for internships. So the fifth place I can think of that you should be going to to look for internships is your network. If you watch any of my other jobs videos on how to get into clinical research, uh, networking is the most important way to get into clinical research or any field for that matter. So go to your network, even though it's number five on this list, it is still one of the most important ways to get into clinical research, intern or otherwise. So go to your network, ask who they know, um, and network with other people in the industry because they may know of internships that aren't as advertised as others, 
or a lot of these might be even unpaid so they can just add you along in the internship program no problem if, if you come highly recommended from somebody else so those are the more traditional methods on how to get an internship in clinical research what are some of the more untraditional methods but still just as good if not more effective to get into clinical research well a good way to go about this is there's there's two th things you want to keep in mind here you have time and hustle on your side so use those to your advantage what can you offer well you don't really have much experience that's why you're trying to gain that experience through an internship but you have time you have work ethic you have other things you can bring to the table so we're going to use those in this next untraditional uh, way of thinking to get an internship so you can go on linkedin try and find a recruiter at the said organization that you are trying to get an internship with. So whether it's a hospital, whether it's a clinical research site, or whether it's a CRO, and message the, rec the recruiters on LinkedIn that you find. Tell them that you're a college student or whatever you are, or looking for a career change or whatever, just looking to get experience. Tell them you're interested in an internship um, and, and see what they have to say. And then you can also tell them that you're willing to work for free in exchange for the experience. Now, I know a lot of you may not want to work for free, but that's a great way to get your start into a field because it shows that you're hungry to, to learn. That's it. You're not, you don't have any ulterior motives. You just literally just want to learn and it shows that you're passionate and shows that you're humble. You're willing to humble yourself to, to learn about the craft. So that's one way. Another way is to offer value. How do you provide value to people? Well, that's one way you're going to think about it. Here's one way. You can uh, message any site owner or site director, somebody that works at the site. Tell them that you're willing to help recruit patients for them for free or on a commission basis um, in exchange for potentially shadowing or working with the study coordinator. So that's a great way. Studies always need patients. They can never have enough patients. Patient enrollment is huge in clinical research. So that's a good way for you to contribute to the site as well as potentially make some money and to get the experience that you want but you don't know what you will get until you ask you have to ask if none of the more traditional ways are working for you just ask don't be afraid you will you will be very surprised with what you get if you just ask for it whether anything whether it's a salary increase whether it's a, a job uh, internship opportunity just ask and oftentimes you'll be surprised. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please leave a like. Those help us out a lot. Uh, any questions, you can comment down below or email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. We always get back to you. I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing over the, the course of the past few months. And we'll continue to create great videos and great content. Also, if you have any other uh, topics you like for us to address you can leave those in the comments down below and we'll do our best to to make a video for you guys take care guys